as an entrepreneur, you will encounter setbacks and failures and making mistakes. And you've got to take risks. That's what an entrepreneur does. That's our entrepreneur mindset. That we are not afraid of taking risks. We are not afraid of making a mistake or even failing and facing adversity and setbacks and obstacles. They are going to come with your entrepreneur journey. It goes with the territory of becoming an entrepreneur. And you've got to accept that. You've got to take full responsibility of your decisions and your actions. If you make a mistake, and you will do, then it's your fault. It's because you've made the wrong decision at that particular time. Don't blame anyone else. It's you. Setbacks will come. Disappointments will come. You'll get let down by other people and other people around you. In my entrepreneur journey, I've had loads of setbacks, loads of worries and being let down and made loads of mistakes. My first setback was when I was first launching my business venture, going back two and a half years ago before the COVID-19 and the lockdown. I planned to put on an event, a show, before the lockdown. I organised it, got the venue, got the band and everything was going well. The tickets were selling great. In fact, for my first business venture and my first event I put on, I sold out. And just three weeks before the event was about to go, COVID-19 hit and we had lockdown. Instantly shut the show and the event completely down. I had to give refunds, which I give straight away. I didn't hesitate whatsoever about giving my refund back. Straight away, as soon as I found out that the uh, venue was locked down, I got straight onto the computer and gave all my customers their refund back instantly the same day the announcement was made. So that business venture, that idea was stopped instantly in its tracks. I didn't give up on that point. I really felt I could do this. And with the tickets selling out, I knew I could repeat that again and just put the show back on once everything was okay, which I did. Then I put a small show on when the lockdown was lifted. I, I managed to get my first show um, and put on, but I only broke even with that because I didn't sell many tickets for that one because the public's confidence in the lockdown, they didn't have confidence in going out to public places and they still had to wear the masks. So they didn't have confidence in the sales of the tickets weren't great. So I broke even on that, which I felt it was okay. The other setback I had is that when I put the first show back on after the lockdown, I put the show back on straight away and... As we was going towards the event, with all the tickets selling very well again, 
and a repeat of the sellout of the tickets, I got a phone call a week before the event. The artist and the band, what I booked, all packed in and they was no more the band wasn't there anymore and i got the message through the agent saying the band what i really wanted to book has actually stopped performing so that was another small setback um i asked the agent to get me the best band they could get hold of and out of something bad something great came because they did get one of the best bands around and we put on the show and i were really pleased with the band and the entertainment and everyone had a great time and the band what they put on were absolutely fantastic in fact they were that good i'm rebooking the band so out of something bad something occurred there then my next show came again another show which i were putting on and same happened again for some reason the band one the band what i booked a four-piece band one of the band members dropped out so another setback in my business venture so I carried on and I asked them to do it as a three-piece band, which they did. And it was going great. And then Her Majesty, the Queen, passed away. And the venue which I booked is a council building, a government building. And their policy is to shut all the buildings down 24 hours in respect of the passing over of Her Majesty. And that could coincide in the same time as my event. So I got told this, I got told that if the, if Her Majesty passes away, there's a possibility the venue will have to shut down. Anyhow, with a bit of, um, a bit, of, I won't say luck, because I'm not saying that, but it came out okay. The timing went for me, um, and we put on the show. But again, one of the band members had to drop out. But the show went off, and it went off absolutely um, fantastic. So, as you can hear, I've had a lot of setbacks. I've made a lot of mistakes booking some acts and then cancelling it um losing a bit of money because i booked some acts and i didn't get a response from it so i lost some deposits so along the way i've made some mistakes a lot of setbacks and a lot of worries about putting on the vent but i stuck at it and i didn't just cancel it a lot of the um other promoters um, cancelled their venues and their shows, especially when the recession hit as well. I had to deal with the recession and the uh, recession of the fuel prices going up. So people stopped buying um, tickets and a lot of my competitors cancelled their shows because of the the ticket sales gone down i carried on i stuck it out and um all my shows went off great and everybody enjoyed themselves because i thought i'm going to get through these problems and obstacles and setbacks and they're not going to stop me once i make a decision i'm like a freight train I carry on and move on and move on. And any obstacles in my way, I'll just run over them and just move on. I like to move on, walk on and move on. And I won't stop if I don't have to. So with the determination, it made me carry on my 
business venture and my entrepreneur journey. And I'm still doing that now, booking new venues, doing bigger venues, as you can see in one of the, my videos, taking a massive risk, booking a bigger venue with more people in. Could lose a lot of money, could lose a lot of time and effort, but it paid off. It was a sellout again because I was determined and I took a risk. Yes, we've got to take risks and you will fail. Failing is good. Fail your way to success. Failure are stepping stones to success. We learn by our failures. It makes us stronger. It doesn't make us weak. It makes us more powerful in making mistakes and failure. So don't be scared of taking a risk and failing and setbacks and obstacles along your journey. If you are scared of that, then don't become an entrepreneur. Stay in your comfort zone and stay in a job. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying anything, but don't become an entrepreneur. Because being an entrepreneur, you will face all them setbacks. And it makes you a strong character. It makes you stronger. And it develops your entrepreneur spirit of being a winner. And that's what it does, is the obstacles, the mistakes, the failures, the setbacks makes you a stronger entrepreneur. And remember, take care of each other. Bye-bye.